Project Runway, season 19. Oh my God, we're back. We're at the halfway point in the competition where things get serious. You are both out, and I'm so sorry. Ugh, double elimination. Cozy chic may have seemed like a simple challenge. The modern version of effortless luxury. But when fabric choice can make or break you, and there's only one day to work, and girls don't even have time to have fun because there's an invasion of Cindy Lauper and Jeffrey Mack. Oh. Cozy suddenly got pretty uncomfortable, especially for Octavio and Zayden, two truly talented designers. I am sad to lose, but I am excited to talk to you tonight. Okay, are we ready? We have a lot to talk about. Nothing on my cards. Octavio, welcome to my first after show of the season. Thank you, I feel honored to be the first one. It's a one. big deal. Yeah, yeah, it totally is. Let's toast. Let's toast from the bar. Okay, we did it. Cheers. Let's see, I'm not a drinker. I don't want. Oh. You made this? Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Stunning. Thank you. Oversized sweatshirt, sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. which is interesting. Right, pretty interesting, yeah. right? Because <laughs> you went home for an oversized, oversized sweatshirt. sweatshirt. Mm -hmm. But I love this one. Thank you. I'm still trying to figure out what cozy chic is. Me too. Let me tell you. Luxurious and fabulous to be in the windows at Bergdorf, but still comfortable to be on the couch. This is my after show, so I can say whatever I want. Don't cut this out. The cozy damn challenge, it was really it was hard. The judges loved the effortlessness of Christina's, which was the winning look of the challenge. But that was resort, what she did. I thought yes. it was super resort. I mean, like, errant. I mean, I feel like you can go buy that in different price points at this, yeah. you know? You can go to Marshall's, you can go to H&M, you can go to... Marshall's and H&M, um, honey. You can buy that Elaine Bryant, you know? It's, it's, oh. it's stuff that was already made, so I guess they were looking for that. You're a little bit sassier than I thought. Well, no, I'm just smart. I, I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm a super nice guy, no, you, you know are. that. Obviously, maybe they felt like it just looked so well done. done. Right. If it's too forced and too rigid, what is the balance? And I think that's like, that's the gamble of this of the kind game. of, of this yeah, game. Yeah. But I love for an oversized sweatshirt. It's something that I do all the time. Yeah. Of course, I didn't pick the best fabric for it. Yeah. But... Why'd you pick a brocade if it's a sweatshirt? It's not gonna look like a lame jacket in no, silver? No, no, it's gonna look like a hoodie sweatshirt. What is this? So this is the fabric I bought from home. For some reason, it feels cozier. I think it was the fabrics. It's so funny when sometimes, like, in black, things just, like, change. change. Yeah. Everything mm -hmm. changes. Yeah, yeah. Why didn't you make this? I did create this, but I, I created it a little smaller because yeah. I had Mimi. I, I didn't want to bulk her up. Yeah. Avant-garde had just been the week before, so I didn't want it to be like, OK, she's wearing this oversized sweatshirt. And. <laughs> Then I did the lingerie, which was fun, something I never did. The lingerie. Uh, and you know Ooh. my inspirations. They come from I like know. vintage and Madonna and yep. this and that. To be honest, I think actually probably a lot of people are going to want to wear that and buy that. Probably, so probably. I don't think it's the yeah. biggest miss. Mm -hmm. That's why I went into every challenge saying I'm going to always do what I do for my brand, which is Octavio. Yes. I took every challenge like that. Take a drink. Yeah, another mm. sip. Little baby sips. Who do you think is going to win? I want Anna to win. I think she just brought something to this competition that we haven't seen. I think this is her moment. Listen, it's been lovely having you. Thank you. It's been I'm a pleasure. I'm going to chat with Zayden now. OK. The double a limb. Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's cheers and toast. Cheers. One more. Zayden, you're drinking without a toast. I know. I'm sorry. You just need to drink that bad? Uh, yes. You look very nice. Thank you. You what definitely, you yourself brought lots of looks. Of course, I always bring a look. You know, you brought <laughs> looks, you brought, you brought little booty shorts, you brought uh, hair looks. Yeah, brought, of course. I didn't think you noticed. Of course. I am my brand, so I have to be the best representation mm -hmm. of my brand and who I am, so. This is giving very, like, vampire. It's giving very black Carl Lagerfeld. Oh, I, I love it. <laughs> what do you think? Like, do you think it's easier or harder when it's two people? going out. I've seen Octavio's work, mm -hmm. and it was an honor. I think he's an amazing designer. Mentally, I'm in a place to where is that I own up to what I do, and I own up to, you know, who I am, and I'm proud of it. For every black kid like me who struggled, I try to hold my head up, and I know this is not the end for me. I do want to talk about, you know, I came in mm -hmm. to say goodbye. Uh-huh. 
You ran away. Okay, I didn't ran away. You ran away. So, yeah, I knew that that was gonna be the question. Honestly. But why'd you do that? Like, I'm just curious. Like, I was just so relieved. To leave? You have to be in my shoes to understand. That you were so relieved to leave? That I came into this competition not expecting anything. Got it. So the fact that I was able to get so far, mm -hmm. You know, I was happy so that, that I was, was a relief. Probably, that was a relief for me to just breathe it out and be like, okay, now I completed a task that I was questioning about. I'm at peace with my soul. I have no regrets. You literally needed fresh air. Because you went outside. Fresh air. But you weren't really proud of that look, were you? Actually, I was. No, come on. I actually was. For me, I'm always proud of the work that I do. I looked at it as far as the client that I dress and the type of girl that I dress. Mm -hmm. Anything that I do, I love it because I did it. Because if I didn't, I would have put it down the runway. Maybe your customer mm -hmm. would really still love it and mm -hmm. want it. But the little details and mm -hmm. the things that I think you love and are good at mm -hmm. sometimes do get hidden. Mm -hmm. And maybe in this one, because it was just this all gray <laughs> thing, not one little thing you didn't like. After looking at it, no. Even the styling where the jacket was off the shoulder and wasn't like didn't really look like it perfectly fit or fashion is subjective. So I felt like the judge's critiques wasn't horrible. It felt a little bit too tight in her hips. And then I don't know how to feel about these ankle straps. Mm. I took it and I fed it and I embraced it. Mm -hmm. You know, in the fashion industry, people are going to critique everything. If you don't have that tough skin, mm -hmm. then this is not the business for you. Yeah. Didn't you go to SCAD? I absolutely did. That's a really good fashion school. Amazing fashion right? school, yes. I've been through worse critiques than that <laughs> to get me to here. So I think that's why I built this tough skin to take it. Got it. All right. Let's take a drink. <laughs> we need it. <laughs> All right. I have a question. What's the question? Who do you think is going to win? Ooh. Hmm. Your guess is good as mine. I really don't know. Really? Honestly. You got nothing? Come on. OK, take a guess. Give me two. Top two. Mimi. <laughs> Give me a top two. I kind of love it, though. <laughs> Mimi's really fabulous. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for having me. And to Mimi, the next Mimi. winner. Hey, Mimi. Mimi. Lacey Redway. Hi. Tresemme Global Stylist. Lacey, it's your first challenge with us. How did you like it? So nice. tell me what we're going to do. So we want to her up. I know okay. you only have 30 minutes, so yep. let's get going. I'm going to use a little bit of the Tresemme Extra Hold Hairspray. Hi. I feel like I'm in the competition. <laughs> you We're are. Like, Am I about to be eliminated? <laughs> yeah. Like, why do I get a time limit? I feel the same way. It's intense. It, yeah, it is very fast paced. Quick. You got to get it together. But luckily, I've been trained well to know how to work fast. Was this the fastest you ever had to do a look? Or have you had to do like a red carpet look quicker? So I can't tell you who. But I've had to like take out extensions while on the massage table, put them back in <laughs> before Honey catches the jet. They're laid out and you're laid doing out. the hair. And I'm like, girl, can you at least turn to the side? God, okay? that's insane. I've like prepared for this moment. You did, you did, you have. <laughs> I had one designer come in where I was like, girl, slow down. Yeah. Like I need to understand what you need. They're high stress, the designers. Yes. Talk about what you did for Luz and Chantal. I gave her kind of like 70s inspired ponytail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Luz kind of helps me get it a little grit, like mm. a little grit to the hair. Moose in the old school, like in the 70s. That's I, what everyone I know, was using. But you know, Does everyone thinks Moose is still old school, but it's still like a great foundation, like right. prep tool because yeah. it really helps me build hair. Yeah. And for me, the foundation is the most important part of hair. What I really love is that Trust Me Extra Hold Mousse, it works for everything. I kept a lot of her natural texture, because mm -hmm. I think it's great with the diversity in the cast to mm -hmm. celebrate everyone's natural textures and, you know, really celebrate what their hair normally does. For Coral's model, yes. Grace. I used a little bit of mousse there as well. Because you kind of incorporated the macrame thing that Coral does so well. Yes, yes, yes. Put it to the top and then incorporated the accessories that she gave me to yeah. use. It's nice to like have something challenge you and yeah. like push you, yeah. you know, and push your ability. Yeah. You know, that's what keeps you fresh. Lacey, thank you so much for coming. Oh my God, I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks. Guys, we did it. Can Ready? we do a little like... Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah. Perfect. It's like a real show.